if they pick something like anti-mage, but I still don't think they would be stronger late, so I would love them to pick something super aggressive and just run at Navi. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I would love to see that, and it looks like we are going to see Drow the Drow Ranger. Oh my goodness, a 10th pick Drow Ranger. Who would have thought that? At um, I wouldn't say so, because Navi does have uh, Zayat on this Earth Spirit, who's possibly going to annoy um, no one a lot in this mid lane. So, once again, I feel like it's going to be pretty even, because Storm does have the Drow Aura, and Ember does have the Earth Spirit potential. Yeah, so I'm gonna be honest. Last game, you you did kind of uh, cast a curse. Navi, are uh, are you rooting for VP this time to even it out? Prepare for battle. All right, I'm just gonna go with Navi again. I'm really feeling this draft. Maybe I'm wrong again, but I feel like they might just not be in time to stop this Naga from farming. They do have the Storm, who is pretty good against catching Naga. But at the same time, there is so much counter-initiation on Navi, and if no one makes one mistake, he could just instantly go down. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize I was casting with a Navi fanboy, and I think after seeing them last game, I think VP, they've uh, managed to hit their stride, either got over their fatigue, finally <laughs> at home, and uh, I think they're probably gonna hit this mid-game timing and shut down Crystallize before she becomes a real issue, so we're, we're both on different sides this time. I never expected to be called a Navi fanboy in my life, but all right, I'll take it. Go Navi, get him. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see if it's right, and we'll we'll see if you're well founded. As I'm just watching VP, they're playing with the snake in the trees. They're having a great time here between right, Pasha and Roger. Let's go VP. <laughs> snake power. The power of the snake. So as we uh, we wait, I. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything interesting for Ruth. Is Naga trying to deny this? I think she's trying to deny this banter. She doesn't get it. Pasha's able to pick it up in time, luckily. But they do have the purge over here on Crystallize. They're coming forward with Pasha. Crystallize the purge. It's worn off. It is affected by one sticky napalm. They need a tiny bit more. They're not going to have a Fisher for nine seconds. And Crystallize makes it to the tower just in time. Nice and safe. It's interesting that Blizzy and Zayats decided not to skip the first wave on this dark here. Instead, just gonna lane regularly. Well, I mean, normally. Uh, I think they might have uh, made the assumption that the um, Solo was gonna be in the top lane to get rid of their iron shells. So they wouldn't have been able to do it successfully, but they roll forward. There are three of them here, and Ramsey's taking so much damage from this double iron shell, as well as the Thunder Strike and a nice gank by the side of Na'Vi. I, I wonder if we're gonna see Val win a game. In this qualifier, after all. Oh, I did. I just root for the Drow team. I realize I've made a a really big mistake. I I was probably channeling my inner Toby one, just uh, my love of Drow. The roll forward onto Ramsey's again. Dyax, he just did that to be able to get that to nice. So annoying here on this Earth Spirit. It's so hard for a Drow Ranger to lane in a lane like this. Because she isn't a hero with a lot of sustain, she doesn't really tank creeps that well, so it just really sucks to be in a position like this. At the same time though, Solo can mess with Blizzy a lot, because he can dispel the Iron Shell if it's on Blizzy, and he can also dispel the Surge if he wants to. So Blizzy doing the smart thing, placing the Iron Shell on the creeps instead, so it cannot be dispelled by Solo, so pretty heads up play there. Uh, oh, and Pasha in the trees will go down to that Thunderstrike. He did spread a salve to try and survive. But they, they get the kill of this Disruptor, but Crystallize able to survive here. Roger, he has gone for the level 1 in the Enchant Totem just to be able to harass Crystallize or maybe get some good denies. Right, I debated you into t 2 with my rant. Yeah, to exactly. Zyax uh, slowed here. I mean, I was following the Dark Sea anyway because it is quite amusing to watch. And I, I quite like this Disruptor. I think it's okay versus the Bat. Because you can glimpse him away once he gets on top of your carry. Yeah, for sure. And you have the kinetic field as well. So even though you can't get rid of the napalm, you do have two ways to get the bat off you. Yeah, and uh, this mid lane going fairly even for both of them. No one. He does have a few more denies than magical though, which is quite nice. It's funny that both of these heroes don't have a stick yet, even though both Ember as well as Storm are serial spam spammer. 
Spell spammers. That's a bit of a tongue twist, eh? <laughs> the serial spell sw spammers. Yeah, yeah, you can write. It's it's pretty tough to say. But uh, no. right, we hear the roll going forward. Zyax is not going to be able to find Ramses again. Just uh, messing with the creep camp over here. And Ramses is doing a pretty remarkable job so far. Oh, Actually, bottom lane. They've caught out Crystallize. Oh, I, did you see this in the bottom lane? He used the mirror image to push himself over the Fisher block. My goodness, what a player. Yeah, as, as well as the mirror image, you know, allowing him to dispel the napalm. It's it's not that reliable because of the long cool cooldown, but it it does mean that the aggression of the bat isn't that um, isn't that impactful here. Yeah, it's tough for this bat fighter to do a lot. At the same time, we finally <laughs> see the first rotation by Zayats, and they instantly kill no one. Yeah, so that's their spirit advantage. I caught the end of it in the mid lane, just rolling forward with that iron shell on top of him. And they had more than enough damage to take him down. So and yeah, so I was gonna say, I'm a bit surprised that once again, Blizzy isn't really getting a lot from this Oh, lane. Roger versus Zayat. Neither of them has taken the arcane rune. Zayat actually has it, but he might die for it. And he will, Roger, able to get that kill. That's pretty big for a Nier Shaker to get these early kills. Because this blink timing is gonna be super important for a VP. Because it's gonna signal the start of their aggression. Um Solo is fighting a level 4 Magical, and he seems to be winning the Shrine, it's not quite up yet. Magical does have the Salve and with the Jukes, but it will get cancelled. And Solo, he's just keeping Ember Spirit out of lane, this is incre incredible, just the level 2 Enchantress, he's not able to hit him. <laughs> yeah, and Magical has to go back to base because of a bloody level 2 Enchantress with Trowel Aura. And this has allowed no one. It's, uh, and you can even see the tip magical, uh, you know, a bit annoyed saying you can't win your lane by yourself. You need the help from Solo. But it sure as hell is paying off. Yeah, and even though no one died, he's almost a full level ahead now. Yes. But that's really unfortunate for a magical. There you go. A gift from the temple. Yeah, you, just uh, chose, you don't need to get kills in mid. You just need to force the enemy back. What, no, exactly. I mean, this is the kind of thing we saw from open AI. Sometimes... Getting someone really low to have to return to base is even better than the kill because they spend more time away from the experience. But it looks like they want the kill again, Zyx. He gets the roll. He has the pushback. Storm Spirit only level 5. Just hit 6 right now. He does level up with the help of the Fisher Block from Roger. Means he's going to survive and they're looking to turn around. Needs to be careful of this Iron Shell, but no one. He's able to get that kill. And Magical, he's still not level 6. My goodness, that timing... I'm pretty sure that Roger's Fisher actually got a CS that allowed no one to hit his level 6. I'm sure that was completely planned. I, I, I want to watch that back on the replays because if that's the case, that's absolutely incredible because he was that little bit off it and Roger's rotation saving the life of no one, netting him a kill, and now no one is firmly in control of this mid lane. Actually, I mean, all the lanes going well for VP. Yeah, and Ramses just hit his level 6 at 6 minutes Radiant and Lizzie is still barely level 4. So Ramses is gonna accelerate now, and the trials we've seen lose got pressured really hard early on and hit their level six at like ten minutes, but Ramses already reached that point. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, Ramses, she's just gonna accelerate through the net worth chart. Is already number one in the CS. And uh, BP, we said what they needed to do was uh, turn on the aggression. You know, and take nice. this twenty-minute timing before crystallize becomes truly massive and it looks like they are angling to do that very well now yeah it's looking very scary for navi i feel like they need to somehow find more pickoffs because right now vp just has so much space yeah this enchantress it's just been so damn effective against blizzy because he really wants that iron shell on himself but he's not able to get it I know some people who really love to flame Enchantress 5, but it's really paying off in this game. And no one level 7 before Magical hits his level 6. He's hit it just now, but he doesn't have a defensive remnant just yet. That and so he bad. gets pushed down to half health by no one. I don't feel like no one can really kill Magical unless something really special happens. Because Magical does have the level 2 flame guide, he can switch to yeah, so uh, low one remnant. In this top lane, pops his dick, pops the heal. But we do finally see the Iron Shell paying off. 
It doesn't matter. Actually, zero points in the Untouchable, but the heal wasn't strong enough. And it looks like no one, they find Seneko with the help of Roger. Tried to go for a wording mission, but it was quite a lethal wording mission. Uh, they pop down a sentry here, but it's not quite going to find where the ward is. And even more pings come, so I think they have an idea. Aestrune is being protected here by Roger. And so no one is probably going to be able to pick that up as well. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for Magical. If the rune uh, spawned top, he would have gotten it. Oh no, Soneko once again going for this rune. No one more than enough for the kinetic field. It's going to hold both of the back. There's not a lot of mana left here on no one, but he's able to refill his bottle. And uh, he's not even needing to use that haste room yet because Magical, no points in the steering chains to hold them in place. At the same time, both Crystallize and Ramses are free farming. For now, Ramses is gonna farm faster, but eventually Crystallize is gonna take over. Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah, it's, I, uh, it's, I, I'm not quite sure how, uh, what Navi are meant to do, because uh, it, it feels like they have to put everything on the back of Crystallize, just because Magical, it feels like he's been shut down pretty hard. I feel like one big time that Navi has coming up soon is gonna be the Disruptor level six. They could try to go for a smoke with maybe Earth Spirit and then into the Kinetic Field Static Storm. And that's how they can potentially take down No One once again. At uh, the same time, Rams is just farming so fast. Yeah, I was saying I really like Ramses, what he's done. You know, he's gone to this triangle and the Pasha already level 6 before that 10 minute mark. Just because of the space that Ramses has been able to make by going into the jungle. Yep, and Rojo level 5 as well. I feel like all of VP supports are having a pretty good time right here. So Crystallize, we're looking at the net worth. He's not that far behind Ramses, and he is going for the Manta style. Um, so he realizes their win condition and isn't fighting early, which is when you see the Diffuser Blade, but it is just getting to that point where you're the unstoppable Naga. Yeah, I feel like most Nagas have started doing this. You rarely ever see the Diffuser oh, first at Lizzie, the same time. Is he going to be able to get off the surge? No. Solo, they they dispel the first one, but going in with a lasso over here on top of the Ice and they're going to lose two. BP, now 2k ahead. Lizzie really hasn't found his stride in these games yet. I hope that he can recover from this, because this is a pretty, pretty rough start. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's just this Enchantress, they they knew exactly what the counter pick to Darkseer was. They banned it out as the five last game. And over here, going on to Magical. Magical does put down a Remnant. And no one with this double damage unit. It's not going to be quite enough to kill this Ember Spirit. It was a nice attempt, but ultimately... Uh, it's just really hard to take down an Ember Spirit from 4 HP when you have level 1 Electric Vortex. Yeah, Pasha has a lot of farm, already has the boots to travel. But Roger, I think he's the one in real danger here. He's trying to fight up against the Naga Siren, but with the first use of that, he pops the Echo Slam to be able to farm. And it does save his life, so maybe it's worth it in the long run. Yeah, I think so. You don't really want to give uh, early kills to this Naga. If it kills you an Echo Slam, so be it. But you have to... Oh, no one casually takes down Blizzy. Uh, they find him once again, and with the help of uh, Ramses, I think he probably had his silence. Snake also oh. gonna go down. Well, we spoke about Navi's early aggression, but it looks like VP has had the better Radiant start so far. Yeah, so, I mean, VP, they're feeling very strong here. They have that 3k advantage, and Naga Radiant Siren of Ramses is just continuing to be number one in the net worth. Crystallize hasn't been pressured too hard, so... Going to be able to make a decent time. And now they're looking to turn around on top of Roger. Magical does have the slight effect with the searing change. Roger, it's a nice stun. He's trying to TP away. Blizzy, no points in the vacuum, but he doesn't really need it. The Iron Shell providing the damage for that kill. <laughs> and look at Drow Ranger's item build. Oh, a bunch of Wraith fans and into the Ags. So VP, they are looking to deal with the Naga Siren, even if it goes late. I have to say, I really like this because it means they're not going to lose if it hits a certain time. They have the science on top of this storm threat, but it doesn't last quite long enough. They didn't quite have enough damage. Maybe if they had had the Iron Shell on both these heroes, they wouldn't have been able to do it. And they still don't have the Static Storm on Seneco, and I feel like this is holding them back a lot. Because it really means that they cannot finish off these kills. And Storm, as well as Drought, they're just farming. They're not feeling the pressure right now. Dyer's middle tower. 
is under attack. Yeah, it's, uh, it's BP, they they realize that what if Drow Ranger gets to this Agonims, uh, maybe not even anything else, they'll be able to deal with this Naga Siren at, you know, probably most stages of the game. Uh, yeah, for sure. And it's going to speed up her farming by a lot too. So it's a, a, it's a very greedy option, but at the same time, it deals with Naga very well. So if you can get away with it, why not? I mean, when your now greed, Francis... when your greed actually helps you with the game, then that's, what else is there to say? You know, you you go greedy because it counters one of the enemy heroes and accelerates your farm. It's just a win-win situation, isn't it? Yep. And he's just cleaning up some stacks. I would expect him to have an agony in so like one to two minutes. He's farming at an ins insane pace right now. And so. Talking of farming at an insane pace, magical. He's not someone who's able to do that quite yet, but he is going for the drums. Oh, Pasha, the lasso, not quite yet. Ember Spirit, he realized if he completed that TP, uh, he wouldn't be able to get away, so he actually jumped to his remnant, I think. But over here, Static Storm on top of Roger. He will eventually drop. It looks like Zaneko is going to be the trade. Are they able to find anything else with the help of no one? He zips forward, doesn't have quite enough mana to be able to get on top of Zayak. And Zayak's rolling to low ground will be just fine. So they end up trading Disruptor for Earthshaker. Navi has to be reasonably happy with that. Yeah, that was the first use of the Static Storm though. So they know there's a little while where VP can play around while well, that's not online. At the same time, Crystallize keeping up with the trial fairly well. Yeah, magical. There's a DD here, but this enchant, as well as the spelling Iron Shells, it also gets rid of that Flame Guard. So now Magical, he just doesn't have the magical damage to deal with solo. It's a pretty nice re representation of this game so far, seeing solo chase away Magical. Yeah, it's, it's, he's just using that slice of fist, but, you know, solo has that heal coming right up. It's doing very well as this Enchantress. As the five position, he's ahead of both oh, the supports on the side of Navi. Magical. They... Oh! He gets away to his remnant. He is going to be okay. Healing Heads up play by Magical. Getting out Stupendous. as soon as he could. Asha is still pursuing though. Dyer's top he doesn't have a defensive top. remnant down yet, but does that really matter? They have the vision for him now. They don't quite have the lasso. The slice of and the searing chains will save the life of Magical. I think they're tempted to dive this tower, but they're all TPing back in for this. The magical, he doesn't have the searing chain, so he can't set up for the kill. But the song, it's onto two of them, and they're focusing who they want. They really want this storm turret. Zyx will. No, they have the static storm, so they don't even need the silence from the storm turret. Do they have enough damage over here with the searing chains of the slice of it? Yes, they do. And the Naga Siren, he is going for Pasha with that vacuum back. Doesn't have the ensnare, but it doesn't really matter. It's a nice double kill for magical. Great rotations there by the side of Navi. Yeah, very nice fight for them. They really needed this. But at the same time, Ramses, he got himself a juicy and fresh new Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, I guess that is a big point to make because uh, Crystallize, he had to rotate in for these kills. And Ramses, it, other than the kill he got involved in the top lanes, uh, he's just been happy in this jungle. <laughs> and we're going to see if Naga is going to keep being able to keep up with this uh, Drow Ranger. Because this speeds up Drow's farming by so much. Yeah, but uh, Crystallize has a few more illusions to help with that, with the Manta style. But now they have the Agnum Scepter, they feel confident enough to at least take this tier 1 mid. Yeah, and there's no Static Storm, so Navi doesn't really have a play to stop this right now. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. So it's, uh, yeah, they know no song, no static storm, so it's a good identification of what they can do. Meanwhile, Chris Lice, he's found the Bat Rider in the trees, but I don't think he's able to kill him just yet. Probably needs the Fusal Blade before that's a possibility. Right, they do have the Blink Dagger now on Roger, so it looks like VP wants to go for a smoke here, trying to maybe find a Naga, but she's all the way back in base. Yeah, it's, I, I think they probably assumed she stuck around to farm after her tussle with the Batrider. But she returns to base. Are they going to be able to find anyone? They haven't seen anyone on the map just yet. So they might have some kind of idea. Magical, he's sitting in the trees. Now, so do they see him. They know where Magical is. Roger, with that blink tag, he's not quite ready to go in because he doesn't have the great vision over him. Very tense. Now he has to know something is up, though. 
Yeah, the Bat Rider is bottom, but obviously does have those boots to travel. So if a big fight does are up, and it looks like the kill they want is going to be solo. Are they going to look to turn this around for the side of VP? There's Roger holding onto the Fisher. They get the Gust. It actually doesn't connect on the top of the Emissary. And now they're on top of the Drow. It's the Fisher. It does stop them. They have the Magnetize now, Magical. He's on top of Ramsey's, but the Storm Trick, they get Sans on top of him as well. They have the Lasso. It's a big Echo Sam. Is it going to be enough? They have the Static Storm. They do lose the Emissary. They've taken down the Drow in return. The Magnetize, it's doing a lot of work. Nagasaru Crystallize has returned to the fight. They've lost the Drow. That's a big kill, but they're going to lose a lot more. Now Crystallize just trying to get out with this song and is going to be able to walk away to safety. So a three for one for the side of VP. It was almost very good for Navi, but this Ember just doesn't really have the damage yet. And Na uh, Naga actually did a lot in this fight, but she couldn't fi quite finish off the Enchantress. So that was a bit unfortunate. Nice initiation, but ultimately VP just has so much. Yeah, uh, do you think it was a bit of a mistake to commit so much to the Enchantress, if I'm honest? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I mean, Navi was probably not expecting the entirety of VP to be there and jump their backlines, but at the same time, when Solo is being that aggressive, do you really want to go on him? I mean, oh. Oh, Magical, he returns this one and he finds the Ember Spirit. Roger, he's got it for this. They have the Dispel, but he's able to get his Remnants to the high ground. Just sticking around there on low damage. Just jumping right back to his remnant. And now Solo, they've caught him inside uh, the kinetic field. Dayak rolling to the back lines to push him back. Solo does have a double damage. He's very low here on Roger's Earthshaker. The vacuum back. They do have the Iron Shell. And so Solo, I think, should eventually fall. But this is taking a long yes, while man. to be able to take him down. Steering chains. And finally, Zayax with the right click. Well, not the right click. but all the kills for Navi. Yeah, it's because it's buying so much space for this Naga. He actually caught up to the Drow and is now the number one in net worth in this game. Uh, I just can't believe what happened there. They were they were camping this Remnant, I think, and he just knew how low he was. A gr honestly, a great play there from Magical to be able to take down no one. Yeah, for sure. That was really important because they got not one, but two kills as a result of it. That little bonus kill of Solo. It took a while, but it's still nice. Yet, and we talked about the fact that uh, Ramses went down, uh, but all during all this time, Chris lies, he hasn't been the one fighting, and he's searched himself the number one in the net worth. Yeah, and Ramses isn't actually that fine for this point in the game. Oh, well, I think so I Zayak like is in... has to feel good about this. I think Zayak is in real trouble here with the Blink Tagger. He is actually able to roll away to safety. That Blink coming off cooldown just in time. I don't see this build very often, no spread. Bracer in Dublin, but I do like it here because they don't have great initiation on Navi and they do want to catch this storm spirit, so Blink is a very good option. Yeah, and I have to say, the initiation he made in that mid lane, being able to get on top of the trial, that was part of what allowed Navi to come away with even one kill from that mid lane fight. Yep, I would love for him to get a quick BKB as well because at that point, there is pretty much nothing that's gonna stop him in this game aside from uh, Batrider Lasso. But do you really want to commit a lasso for an Esprit? I highly doubt it. Yes, I do have to say, the fact that Solo has been able to deal with Magical is insane. But now we're looking at that might not be the possibility, the Maelstrom. But Purge off the Flame Guard goes forward to that Remnant. But as he sees the TP in, goes a bit more defensive. Yeah, Magical doesn't really want to go without the Flame Guard and like 500 Oh, HP. Chris lies. Maybe he's been found by the side of VP. They initiate instantaneously with the Lasso. They'll have the Science follow-up. They have the Fisher Echo Slam. They don't even need to use it. Zyax, he's next hit. They're hitting him. He's getting very low. They pop down the wall, but does it really matter? There should be more than enough damage to be able to take down Zyax. Solo actually... No. Pasha with the last right click of that fight. And over here in the mid lane, they have the silence on top of no one, but he's able to walk out of it because of no kinetic field. So he's able to zip away to safety. And the big Echo Slam reveal. Is there enough solo with the impetus? It is three big kills for the side of VP. Very nicely played by VP on both the Ember as well as the Naga. Just perfectly chain stunning. Absolutely no chance for a reaction there. I mean, Ramses, he didn't even need to use his Gust on Naga Siren, knowing it would be dispelled by that Manta style. But this Agnims, uh, it, as well as these Race Bands, he just has enough raw damage. If they're able to hold the Naga Siren in place, he is going to go down. Yep. If you can right-click for like six seconds, you're probably going to kill something. 
Yeah, <laughs> I have to agree with you there. And unfortunately, uh, Zayak, Zayak, he tried to get into the fight, but he was just a little bit too late to be able to help his uh, Naga Siren. Yeah, and if they would have gotten off the song, that would have been amazing, but didn't quite have the opportunity. Meanwhile, Pasha. Uh, Pasha, his Firefly has there. ended. They have the glimpse. Uh, he's going to try and TP away, but it doesn't matter. They have the roll. Uh, Pasha with the flame break. It is taking a while. They do bring in Magical, and he will finally go down, giving the kill actually over to Seneko. Crystallize does have his Diffusal Blade now, so if he can get on top of someone, he's going to deal a ton of damage, but he's still rather squishy, which is also an interesting thing to say about a 2000 HP. 25 Yeah, with that kill on the bat rider, however, they've just they're going right into the pit. DP, they do have some idea this is happening thanks to this ward. And the buyback from the bat, I think that is gonna signal Sido Navi to retreat. Uh, what I was gonna say is I was just thinking about Blizzy, and once he gets this AoE surge challenge, that with all the Naga Siren illusions, that the side of EP, they're all independently very, very squishy. You're gonna give me nightmares, man. I don't want to think about <laughs> Naga illusions with Surge. Come on, man. I, I, I love I love like this crazy theory crafting stuff. It's uh it's some of the most fun things in Dota. Uh, Draw range. They're looking to go for a Hurricane Pike now. It's gonna help a lot with the mobility problems that she's been having. And VP, I, are they just smoking right into the Roche pit, or are they looking for a pick off? They're they're looking for a pick off into Roche Senate. They've put Pasha on the front lines. He does have the blink dagger. If they catch Seneko, it's big, but Blizzy doesn't. Well, over here, that. they're on top of Blizzy. Zyx, is he going to try and counter initiate the fight? Yeah, they have the stalking to Saticor. A bit of a miscommunication there. But Magical, he still has a lot of damage over here. So, look, it's going to go down by a nice big Echo Sam. It's onto a whole bunch of. They zip him out of the fight, and they have lost Blizzy. They've lost Zyx. But they haven't lost anyone from the side of EP. Finally, they will lose Solo. And now they're on top of the Jar Ranger. She's trying to fight into this, but she will eventually go down. That's two big kills, 70 seconds without their Jar Ranger. They bought back on two for this for the side of Na'Vi. And they're going to find even more there on top of this Bat Rider. The side of his steering change. Are they able to find Rogers? Like, is he looking for any more? No, he's not because they want the Roshan. So two buybacks from the side of Na'Vi, but three big kills. If they get Rosh, it's certainly going to be worth it. But there is an opportunity for a steal because BP does have Storm Spirit as well as Earthshaker. And Crystallize actually getting fairly low in this Roche pit. Really needs Blizzy to start helping, uh, helping him out a little bit with tanking. Roger's in a lot of trouble and they're able to bring him down because they, they don't need those heroes to do the Roshan. All they need is Crystallize. I don't feel like Roger expected uh, Navi to have a word on that cliff. Thought he could get away with it. And nope. this is pretty big for Navi because taking down Naga once was already quite a challenge. They had to perfectly change them, but try stopping a Naga twice. Yeah, it's, uh, I was gonna ask about this. I know VP, they are ahead in the network, but do you feel the tides are changing here? Yeah, for sure. If Naga does get this hard, it's gonna be so tough for VP to take her down. Because, like, Drow deals a lot of damage, but even with the Aghanims, it's gonna be quite a challenge to take down all the clones. Yeah, it's, uh, Lizzy, he did buy back in that previous engagement, and he's, uh, he actually went for the early Pipe of Insight. Uh, do you like that? Do you think that's what made Navi be able to live through a bit of that damage? Yeah, for sure. Radiant's top tower has fallen. And there are gonna be guiding Graves on Blizzy soon as well. So that extra healing is just gonna... Might just push Naga's tankiness over the edge. Where Pasha. she just isn't gonna die anymore inside the lesser. Oh, Pasha was sitting on the side here. Goes for the Firefly to be able to make the escape. They're not gonna be able to catch him. But with the Sages for the side of Na'Vi, they're reclaiming a whole bunch of map control that they had lost. Starting to take these towers. Yeah, and this is where it gets really hard to deal with in Naga because she's just constantly gonna push in lanes. And VP doesn't have the best lane pushing squads. Yeah, and it seems they thought the Batrider was still down here, rolling through the trees, using the vacuum, but still not gonna find anyone. They do have um, an Enchantress 
And what most people don't realize about Ench is that she can actually take over the Naga Illusions on potentially a 10 second cooldown. So even though their wave push isn't that great and they might struggle with it, they do have an Ench which alleviates a little bit of the pressure. That, I mean, also, a Drow Ranger with Aghanims is probably one of the best name pushers in the game. For sure. It's gonna get easier if he does get a Mjolnir now. For now, he's still working on his Hurricane Pike. Oh, th that Enchantress, they found her caught out once again. And even with the uh, four points in that Untouchable, it doesn't really matter when you're surrounded by a whole bunch of illusions able to get that magic Riptide damage off. Right, so no one does have his Bloodstone now, but he really needs the BKB before he can really do something in fights. Yeah, because they have the Static Storm, they have the the control of the net as well as uh, the, just the Silence from Zyax. And if he's standing still for any amount of time, Crystallize, I think is going to focus him with the Illusions. They found Ooh, Roger. Roger in the trees here, goes for the stun, but he knows he's not getting out. Affected by the Insta, wasting their time a tiny bit. But Magical is going to get that last hit. And that is definitely going to be a tier 1 tower, if not a little bit more. And VP is still leading by 4k, but it certainly does not feel that way. Yeah, I mean, Dota Plus is saying that Na'Vi is favored, even though they're behind in the net worth. But it just shows how good VP are. Even when they're no longer doing great, no longer winning the fight, they're ahead in the net worth. And over here, Storm Spirit, they connected onto him, but perhaps a bit far. They have the Static Storm, they have the Sights of Zyax. And they will get the last hit there, coming from Magical. <laughs> and Ramses is just going to BKB. BKB doesn't have the TP. What? This BKB, I thought he was going to TP away. Will it last long enough? I don't think it will. And Ramses, he's going to go down as well. He's doing a lot of damage, lasting for a long amount of time. But now, eventually, he will fall to Magical. I thought he wanted to TP too, but then he realized, hey, wait. I don't have a TP. What? Yeah, so that was a long BKB, but he just didn't have a TP. And Naga Siren, at this Aegis, it does uh, fade in about a minute. But during that, during this Aegis timing, it feels like Na'Vi, they've really turned this entire game around. With Magical, able to get another catch over here onto Solo. Held down by that Naga Insnare once again. And eventually, she will fit. Oh, it's so slow, but luckily for them, the slight of fist it doesn't really matter. And... They're on top of Roger once again. Silent stop. Roll forward. Magical. He's now on a full-on monster kill tree. This is a man who was sent back to base for almost a full minute in the mid-game. It's falling apart for Vicky. They even fortified a creep wave and there is still 25 seconds without draw buyback. This could be a tier 3 if not more. Yeah, they're focusing the tier 3. Now they're able to kill off... Uh, both all the creep waves, but the backdoor regen, it's not going to come back up just in time. And this is definitely going to be a tier 3. Do you think Na'Vi are going to stick around after this tier 3 or back off? The Aegis is going to expire, so they want to be a little bit careful. If they want to be safe, they can even just pop the song. It doesn't look like they're feeling the pressure. Yeah, and Crystallize, by the way, has completed that heart once she gets the courier to her. So you weren't able to kill Crystallize before. Now you sure as hell aren't. And they actually went for a smoke. I don't think VP is expecting this. Oh, Blizzy. Ramses, he's he's found them out, but they're not focusing Ramses. They're trying to kill off the song to it. The fourth back. It's a big echo slam on the three. They pop the BKB. Naga Siren has the song as well as the stash jump. But Ramsey's still fighting because he has this BKB. Crystallize, are they going to be able to kill the others? They're losing solo. They're losing their the Earthshaker. And now no one's fighting. So actually has the silence on top of the two of them. They're going to lose this storm once again. He has buyback. And now Ramsey's no BKB. They've lost Ramsey's. There's only two remaining. They throw the storm back up in the air. He's able to zip away to safety. They've lost their Ember Spirit. But they have Crystallize. And Crystallize, this is the man with the heart. Seneko, he might be in trouble here against no one, but there's no mana. They have the sun. And now Crystallize, he's going to be able to get this easy kill onto the Storm Spirit. He just bought back Pasha, the only one remaining. And VP, they're cool GG. Navi being able to pull this game to a 1-1. One, one. That's just Naga. Even the Aghanims wasn't enough. I mean, maybe if Aghanims bounced like... I mean, since 